Friends, in this circuit diagram, you can see I have two motors, motor 1 and motor 2. Now to turn on motor number 1 and for turning off, I made a starter here. But for turning on second motor, I haven't made any starter. Now the second motor here, for turning on this, I want that on turning on first motor, second motor also gets started. For this, in this circuit here, I need to do modification. And after modification, along with first motor, I have to turn on second motor. So how to do connection here, let's understand this. So to turn on this motor and for turning off this motor, our starter is already there. For now, what we have to do, this second motor here, for starting this motor, there is a contactor. We have to provide power supply to coil of this contactor. If I will provide neutral power supply directly to the coil of contactor, and besides, if I will provide phase supply also directly, then in this condition, on turning on power supply, you can see second motor is turned on. If I want to start first motor, it will get on. If I want to stop this motor, it will get off. But right now, to contactor of this motor here, I directly provided power supply to this. That's why there is no option to turn off this motor. And in our logic, it was told, after turning on first motor, this second motor must turn on. For this, we don't have to press any push button. Simply, when this one is turned on, this one also turn on. For this, we have to use NO contact here. Now this NO contact is to be connected with series of this wire here. So I am deleting this. After deleting it, put this here. To this NO contact, I am providing power supply from here. And through this, power supply will go to A1 terminal of contactor. So if I do the connection in this way, then in this condition, when I turn on power supply, after turning on power supply, if I press start push button, you can see both the motors turned on. First, this motor is turned on and after this, second motor is turned on. There was fast switching, so it is difficult to notice which one is turned on when. But this one will start first, after that, this one will be started. Let's turn off. Here, both the motors turned off. Right now, we can notice a problem. If I turn on one motor, then both the motors turned on. But if I want to turn off this motor, then for this, when I press stop push button, then second motor also turned off automatically. So right now in this circuit, we have to do modification in a way that when I turn off first motor, then second motor will continue to run. The second motor must not turn off. For this, what I have to do, this contactor here, we have to use NO contact of this contactor. And to this NO contact, incoming power will be supplied through this NO contact. And with the output of this, connect a wire with this one. So after this much connection, if I turn on power supply, and after turning on, if I press start push button for turning on first motor, then my motor is turned on, along with this second motor also turned on. Now if I turn off first motor, then you can see first motor is turned off, but second motor is still on. It means the modification I wanted here is completed. Now I want to turn off this motor, but there is no way I can turn it off. If I want to turn off this motor, then for this, separately a stop push button we need to use. Or I can use this stop push button also. If I want, I can delete this wire and power supply which is going to this contact, I can provide this power supply through output terminal of stop push button. So after this much connection, if I turn on the motor, then along with first motor, second motor also turned on. If I turn off first motor, both the motors turned off. I cannot connect this wire at this point. So let's delete this wire. After deleting it, I am using a stop push button separately. Through this stop push button, power supply will go to this point and power supply to this stop push button will be provided from here. I connected the phase supply, you can see the connections here. Now if I turn on power supply, you can see right now both the motors are off. Now if I press start push button, you can see both the motors are on. But for now, I only wanted to turn off first motor. Then simply by pressing this, I can turn it off. And if I want to turn off second motor, then by pressing this, I can turn it off. In this circuit, there is still a problem. Problem is, when I turn on first motor, second motor is getting on also. But if I want to turn off only this motor, then for turning off this, I am pressing this stop push button, motor is turning off. But on releasing button, motor again turned on. It is happening here because I used NO contact of this motor for turning on this motor. 
right now this contactor is in on condition so what happen is this contact will remain closed and power supply will flow continuously from here and my motor will remain on so according to our logic this circuit is working properly but in condition of emergency if i want to turn off this motor then for this i don't have any option so what i will do besides this stop push button here i am using emergency stop push button separately for connection of this emergency stop push button i am deleting this phase supply from here and after deleting i am taking this here let's rotate a bit after rotating it provide power supply to emergency push button from here and from here power supply will go to stop push button now in this circuit if i press start push button then you can see both the motors are turned on now if i want to turn off only this motor then simply i will press emergency stop push button you can see my motor is turned off for turning off this by pressing stop push button i can turn it off so friends how to do wiring according to logic this i told you through this video i hope you like this video if you like this video give like on my video and please give your lovely comments thanks for watching this video